All right, so technically, um, I was six years old, and my brother, he, he actually played football. He started playing for Central, um, Central Youth Line Football or whatever, so um, I saw that he was playing that. I was, I was only six at the time. No, actually, I was five, and um, I asked my mom, I was like, can you sign me up, like, you know, whenever I was, like, able to, and then she was just like, yeah, I can sign you up, because, like, we'd always play backyard football a lot. I played with my cousins, you know, local friends around the neighborhood, and, um, you know, I, I just, like, loved it, and then as soon as I started playing, my first game was actually at Freedom Park in Lewisburg, Virginia. Um, I scored my first touchdown, and it was just, like, a great feeling, because everybody was cheering, and, like, I had no idea, like, what I did, and I just kept on doing it that whole season, and you know, I just, that's, like, technically where I found my love for it, so. You got addicted to it. Basically, <laughs> that's exactly what happened. It was mainly just a feeling of running into the end zone, like running past everybody, because I never knew I, like, you know, was naturally, like, that fast. So I was just like, okay, I have speed. Wow, this is, like, pretty cool. I can outrun everybody. Like, the, who wouldn't want to do this for a living? So uh, I just, you know, and I, I've always been fast. Like, I, I like we'd, when, when we would play, like, games and stuff, like, tag or, like, you know, just anything, anything how you would run around as a kid that I just ran, I ran everybody and it was just, you know, so just yeah, kept doing it. Kept doing it. <laughs> you know, it was, it was mainly, it's mainly just a natural thing. Like I have natural abilities. That's, that's like why I love playing running back so much. Cause it's just, you know, it's like a natural thing for me. So, um, you know, I just, I just, you know, see defenders and, you know, get past them. That's just like my mentality is just like run past them every time and score to the end zone. I'm talking about your sprinting form. Oh no, not at all. So that's Actually, all that's it's all natural. How many people do I think can keep up with me? Yeah, how many people have you found that can keep up with me? It's actually been like a few <laughs> amount of people. Like it's rare, but like it has happened before. So like um, you know, like there's been times where I have almost been hawked down, but there's times like, you know, I just completely bow past everybody. But like it's it's very rare for me to get hawked down. So because once I run, I just like tell myself just to keep going faster. Like yeah. when I'm when I'm in the middle of a play and I'm just like out in the green, I'm just like, you know, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. And sometimes like when it's sunny outside and I'm playing, like you can see the shadow of somebody behind you. So you're just like, <laughs> you got to play it like you're running from somebody almost. Like look down at it. Like <laughs> when, it, when it's like really sunny out, you can really see it because I'll see my shadow and I can be like, I can kind of tell like how far behind they are from me because I know shadows like, you know, they look a lot longer than, you know, they actually are. So I just technically like use that as like a preference to be like oh run faster run faster these guys like right behind me so i just gotta you know i just technically tell myself to run faster and like i don't i don't hear things like when i'm running because you know it's like tunnel vision obviously so i'm just like you know i, I just kind of have like only one thing on my mind and that's just just running you talk about the sims name mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about that so it actually goes way back and there's like a there's like a clip um, from when we played against Broad Run, the announcer or the, um, you know, the commentator over the video, he was technically like, you know, Sims goes a, a long way back in Loudoun County history. And like, that's pretty much where all my family went to high school. So um, my uncle played there, you know, a couple of my cousins have played there. Uh, my brother's dad, who was like a father figure to me, he played there. So uh, I guess it kind of like picked up from that because I've had a lot of family that has gone there and it goes way back in history. My grandmother actually taught there at one point. So um, it's definitely like, you know, a pretty historic name that goes back to Lyon County. So it's, it's pretty cool to have that, you know, to carry on that legacy. So. Well, obviously my versatility that was that was like probably one of the main things that I can you know from transition from running back to playing slot receiver and those are two completely different positions you know um, so my actually actually my first time playing slot receiver was my sophomore year and that was the first year I ever started on varsity because the coaches were just trying to find a way for me to get onto the field so it was kind of just like that thing where I just had to learn and pick up on it and you know football is obviously you know something that's like always been a good thing for me you know it's always been a natural thing for me so I just like you know that was probably mainly one of the things that I got coached more on rather than running back because I was just I've always been so natural at running back but uh, I've kind of just like picked up skills and you know just new techniques along the way. 
We did go up there a couple days ago. It was me, Billy, Wayne, Jalen, and uh, one of the players who actually goes there, Santana. He's an offensive lineman there. Uh, we actually went there a couple days ago just to you know walk around the school, get a feel for it. We actually saw one of the dorms because Santana obviously goes there already, so we got to see his dorm. Um, uh, I actually love the campus. The campus is beautiful. It felt like home. Like I didn't feel like I was like you know I didn't feel uncomfortable being there, which was like a great thing. So. Yeah, he actually is. He's the one, he's basically the one who kind of convinced me to like pick ODU because he hit me up and he was like, yo, so, you know, ODU, bro, we could actually get something started there. You know, we could start our legacy. Um, we could build something there. And I was just like, you know what, bro, let's, let's just do it. And um, we actually committed the same night. So, you know, that was pretty cool. And, you know, that started like a whole trend over Twitter and Instagram. You know, everybody was like, dang, you know, ODU got two commits in one day. So it was, it was a pretty great, it was fun. It was, it was awesome. It was a great thing. Uh, this was about like, maybe probably late December, maybe is when I found out. Um, and I just kind of was like, wow. So I obviously had to tell my mother and I told my mom and then she was like, the first thing she said to me was like, you're still going to school. So <laughs> I was like, okay. Like I, I went in there talk, like expecting her to be like, you know, angry about it because I'm so young. And she was kind of, she was still in shock obviously, but uh, she supported me. She supported me through this whole way. Um, we've had a lot of support throughout both of our families, you know, um, having to work everything out and stuff. So, you know, it's, it's definitely great and it's, it's motivated me a lot more to like, you know, want to keep working, getting out to the field every day, uh, you know, pushing weights, all that kind of good stuff. People got no idea how expensive diapers and formula are. Oh, no, no. <laughs> formula, one tub of formula is like $32, so. It's, <laughs> it's crazy, it is crazy. But. Oh yeah, a lot of sleep, actually. <laughs> Especially those, that, like, that first month, like, it, it's, it's been like, you know, it's been a roller coaster, but I mean, it's definitely worth it in the end, so. last time I get to see like you know the friends that I've grown up with obviously so you know after that we're all separating going our own ways so I mean it's definitely gonna be different but I am looking forward to college a lot because you know this is something I've been working for my whole life so and it's been a dream of mine and it's like a dream come true so I'm just like I'm really pumped and excited and more motivated than ever actually just to like you know get out there on the field and compete they've called me a lot and told me like you know they can't wait to get me out there you know uh, coach Ronnie actually texted me one day out of the blue and he was like I'm watching some Wake Forest tape and I just keep on thinking how explosive you're gonna be when we get here. Or our, our offense is gonna be when you get here or whatever. So, you know, that was like, that was also kind of motivating. And I was just like, well, you know, I just gotta get to work. <laughs>